What's up, Star Wars fans? Welcome back to Jedi Jive. My name is Mike, and you know why you're here. We have a new episode of The Mandalorian to react to, Chapter 15. First things first, I want to say thanks to everybody for subscribing. You guys helped me pass the 1,000 subscribers mark this week. That's awesome. I started this channel a year ago in order to react to The Mandalorian, and uh, that was fun, and I kept it going, and here we are a year later reacting to Season 2 when we finally passed 1,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for following and subscribing and all your commentary in the comments section. I love reading all your comments. Please keep it coming. Since they announced all these new Star Wars shows coming up in the future today, I'm really excited for Obi-Wan and Ahsoka and all those other ones, so there's going to be plenty of material for me to react to in the coming months, and I'm really excited to get to that. Anyway, Chapter 15, Moff Gideon is a bad, bad man, and we want to see him get taken out. It looks like Din Djarin is going to have to assemble a crew of people that are loyal to him to help go save Grogu, including Cara Dune, Mayfeld, Bill Burr's character from last year. They're going to have to bust him out of prison. And now we're flying in Slave 1 with Boba Fett and Fennec Shan, so this is already going to be a pretty badass crew. And although I'm worried about baby Grogu, I... I really don't think there's going to be any problem for them. Except for Moff Gideon and the Darksaber. We know he's got dark troopers and it's not going to be easy. Similar to last season, chapters 7 and 8 were kind of like a double episode. So I have a feeling this episode is probably going to end with a to-be-continued kind of scenario just like, like that. We may not see that happy ending that we want to see at the end of this episode, but I'm always prepared for great fun with The Mandalorian now because they've been just completely blowing my mind every week. I'm excited for what's coming. Let's get in and see what happens. Lots of remains of TIE Fighters in there. Okay, so yeah, this is a prison camp. There's Mayfeld. Okay. <laughs> ah, what? <laughs> Can't you see him busy? Inmate 34667, please salute Marshal Dune. <laughs> Every man prisoner number 34667 to my custody. This could be that easy. <laughs> She's just gonna walk in and pick him up. She's got authority now. Where was she taking me? Inmate three four six six. You gonna tell me where you're taking me? Thought they were gonna have to bust him out. Slave one, baby. I'm super excited that we have Slave One now. I miss the Razor Crest, but Slave One is awesome. Oh, does he know Boba Fett? Got new paint. You know, for a second I thought you were this other guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just shit his pants. He's the guy that put him there. Mayfield. No, long time. So why you came here to kill me? All you need to know is I've been a lot of rules to bring you along. Why am I so lucky? Because you're Imperial. Hey, that was a long time ago, all right? <laughs> but you still know your Imperial clearances and protocols. Cara Dune means business. Now the baby Grogu is in trouble. Cool, this salvage yard is uh, reminiscent of the one in Jedi Fallen Order. Lots of old ship parts lying around. The Believer. I love that Boba Fett repainted his armor already. He looks so fresh now. We need coordinates for Moff Gideon's cruiser. Moff Gideon? <laughs> yeah, forget it. Just take me back to the scrapyard. I'm not doing that. They have his kid. The little green guy? <laughs> the little green guy. I help you guys get him back. You guys let me go? That's not how this works. <laughs> I can't get those coordinates unless I have access to an internal Imperial terminal. I believe there's one on Morak. If you can get me in there, I can get you the coordinates. Fett, punch in the coordinates to Morak. <laughs> He's got him by a one-name basis now. Just calls him Fett. I think it's our first time seeing the cargo area of the Slave One. Wonder what they're refining in there. Looks like Rhydonia. Highly volatile and explosive. Kind of like this one, huh? I still can't get over the fact that Slave One is the ship we're flying now. It's so weird seeing wheeled vehicles in Star Wars, considering everything hovers. Once I get the coordinates, you guys got to get me the hell out of there. Drop in and pull you out. If you get scanned and your genetic signature shows up, you're gonna be detected. Fennec will go. No, I'm wanted by the ISV. I'll trip the alarm too. Fett, let's just say they might recognize my face. <laughs> I'll go. But I don't think I can explain away a guy in a Mando suit to Imperial Guards. So unless you're gonna take off that helmet, it's gonna be me going in alone. Take the helmet off, Dan. I'm coming with you, but I won't be showing my face. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's so weird seeing tires in Star Wars. Oh, look at this. Oh, the shame. Well, that right there is worth the price of admission. <laughs> I wish I could say it looked good on me, but I'd be lying. <laughs> He's like embarrassed to be in that uniform. What would they say on Mandalore? <laughs> he got such a sunny disposition. I can't imagine how much fun you are in one of these. <laughs> 
Ah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> as much as I want Bill Burr to feel awkward in Star Wars universe, it doesn't. It's, it, it's funny. It works somehow. I don't think they would have brought him back if they didn't agree that his character works. Hey, come on, man. You still get to wear a helmet, right? All right, you know what? I'm taking this thing off. I can't see anything. I don't know how you people wear those things. And by you people, I do mean men <laughs> Phase one complete. We're in. Copy. Standing by. Those better ones off. <laughs> They're going to keep talking about it until he reveals his face. Don't worry about the Rhydonium. As long as you drive steady, you'll get us to the refinery. He sees a kid that reminds him of himself. Empire, New Republic. It's all the same to these people. Invaders on their land is all we are. Somewhere, someone in this galaxy is ruling, and others are being ruled. Do you think all those people that died in wars fought by Mandalorians actually had a choice? So how are they any different than the Empire? Look, if you were born on Mandalore, you believe one thing. If you are born on Alderaan, you believe something else. But guess what? Neither one of them exists anymore. I'm just a realist. I'm a survivor, just like you. You and I are nothing alike. I don't know. Seems to me like your rules start to change when you get desperate. Let's drop it some truth right now. You said you couldn't take your helmet off, and now you got a stormtrooper one on. So what's the rule? Is it that you can't take off your Mando helmet, or you can't show your face? Because there is a difference. Speaking some real truth right now. Everybody's got their lines they don't cross until things get messy. Control, control. We need a new. Uh oh. Has been destroyed. Destroyed? So it's similar to like Coaxium in Solo. What the hell's that? Keep driving. I'll take care of it. Are you seriously shooting a blaster in your Rhydonia? <laughs> you are now firing a gun near 400 gallons of nitroglycerin! Ooh. They're trying to blow the Rhydonium. You think? You should have left me in prison! <laughs> Yikes. Oh, jeez. Imperial trash. <laughs> oh, now we're in Beskar anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm familiar with this species. Uh oh. Well, it's on there now. Nice. <laughs> nice move. Uh oh. They made it through. These guys have an unlimited supply of detonators. <laughs> That's so funny. I thought you'd be happy to see stormtroopers. <laughs> Mayfeld drops a lot of truth. Getting saluted by Imperials. Love it. Cara Dune and Fennec Shan look great next to each other. Wow, this is a trip. We're not used to seeing Imperials cheering and clapping like that. All we gotta do is find a terminal. Mayfeld hasn't been recognized yet. You see somebody he knows. Can't go in there. Why not? Fallon has. I used to serve under him. I was just a field operative, but I'm not taking the chance. It's over. If we don't get those coordinates, I'll lose the kid forever. Give me the data stick. It's not gonna work. The terminal has to scan your face. Let's go. And take his helmet off. Do it for Grogu. Remove your helmet, please. There you go. There he is. Designation is transport co pilot. What's your TK number? This is my commanding officer, TK 593, sir. I'm afraid you're gonna have to speak up to him a little bit since his vessel lost pressure in Tana. <laughs> Good save, Mayfeld. What's your name, officer? <laughs> I 
We just call them brown eyes. Come on, let's go fill out those TPS reports. <laughs> they failed to see his face now. You're the tank troopers that delivered the shipment of <laughs> He's like, I just want to shake your hand. Come with me. Let's get a drink. <laughs> brown eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Mayfeld is the only human that's seen his face his entire life. You concentrate on the troopers. I'll take the cannons. I wonder what's taking them so long. So what's your <laughs> boys? Where are you from, brown eyes? How about a toast to Operation Cinder? Now there's a man who knows his history. I was in Burning Con. Burning Con? That was a hard day. I had to make many unpleasant decisions. Yes, you did. Entire city gone in moments, along with everybody in it. Hmm. He lost a whole division out there. Man, that was like five, ten thousand people. All heroes of the Empire. Well, it's a small sacrifice for the greater good. Depends on who you ask, don't you think? They fell. C calm down, buddy. Was it good for them? Their families? The guys I served with? This isn't good. Civilians, those poor mud scuffers, died defending their homes, fighting for freedom. Was it good for them? Dropping a little too much truth. See with the Redonium you've delivered is going to make Burning Con just pale by comparison. And then they're going to turn to us once again. Everybody thinks they want freedom, but what they really want is order. This guy's creepy. To the Empire. Are you kidding me? Uh oh. <laughs> well, I guy had it coming. Major Dick. You did what you had to do. I never saw your face. <laughs> Ready? Go. Uh oh. <laughs> nice. We're on. Start your run. That's right. You got to take off in the reclined position in Slave One. Oh. Cardoon's a crack shot too. Haven't missed yet. Come on, Boba. <laughs> Looks so fresh, but he still has the dent in his helmet. Hand me that cycle rifle. Oh, he's gonna blow up the whole place. <gasps> yes. That's awesome. I like that. They make it pretty clear that Mayfeld left the Empire. Because he did not agree with the bad things they were doing. He just saved a lot of lives doing that. Yeah, Boba will take these guys out. <gasps> oh, it'd be awesome if they do the um, the sonic grenades. Yes, shockwave grenade. Get ready for it. Oh, they actually made this. It sounded a little different. Oh, that's cool. Thank you for helping. Good luck getting your kid back. All right, officer. Take me back. That was some nice shooting back there. <laughs> Just getting some stuff off my chest. You know, it's too bad Mayfeld didn't make it out alive back then. <laughs> what are you talking about? Does, it, does that mean I can go? Because I will. You get the coordinates on Moff Gideon? We did. What's our next move? Sir, you should see this. Moff Gideon, you have something I want. <laughs> You may think you have some idea what you are in possession of. He's using his own words. But you do not. Soon he will be back with me. Gideon looks scared. He means more to me. Than you will ever know. Than you will ever Hell yeah, Din. You tell him. Moff Gideon looks scared for the first time. Awesome scene. Rick Famuyiwa. Okay, cool. That was... that. It's funny because, you know, he did uh, Mayfeld's episode last season. I think, right? Uh, chapter 6, and he did this one too. And now that I think about it, it did have sort of a similar vibe. It had that sort of you know, a similar crew put together trying to go in and, and break in, basically. So, similar episode, but, you know, in a way, that was, like, exactly like the sort of side episode I figured we needed last week. I'm actually kind of surprised, because I was expecting this and the next episode to be, like, a giant, crazy you know, single thing bro uh, broken up into two parts. But this was definitely its own episode. I enjoyed it. Um, in the grand scheme of things in this overall season, despite this being an awesome episode, this wasn't one of my favorites simply because of the other episodes just being so awesome and they didn't drop anything crazy on us this week. So there aren't, there weren't any insane reveals this week, but there was definitely some awesome action and some, some cool character stuff. Like the fact that Mayfeld was just a sort of a shady bad guy last season, but in this 
episode, they really gave him the opportunity to show that he's not a bad guy. He just was involved in bad things, which is the way a lot of people are in this galaxy. And that, that gray area between good and bad, it's, it's not really so much good guys and bad guys as it is just people all across the galaxy trying to survive. And he, like I said, he was dropping a lot of truth bombs on Mando there. He even got, well, he didn't get him to remove his helmet. Din Djarin really ended up having no choice. He had to remove his helmet there. But the fact that Mayfeld is the only human that's seen his face his entire life, that's crazy. And, I mean, even the people close to him haven't seen his face. So this just brings us one step closer to Din Djarin being able to take his helmet off without it having to be some crazy, oh my god, he's taking his helmet off. So now that we've seen his face for a second time, it seems like he's probably going to more consistently start taking his helmet off. And to see that final scene there where he just used Moff Gideon's own words against him, and he said, he means more to me than you will ever know. I loved that. And... Up until this point, Moff Gideon has always had like an overconfidence about him and just like, wow, this guy can do anything he wants. But for the first time, we saw Moff Gideon have a scared expression or like an unsure expression on his face there. So that felt really good, knowing that Din Djarin was in control and was telling Moff Gideon that he was coming to get him. So we knew it was coming, but the the final episode, I guess, will be the final showdown and they're going to... They're going to have come head to head with Moff Gideon, whether or not that's going to entail the Beskar spear versus the dark saber. I mean, I think a lot of people want to see that. I think the nat that's just sort of like the natural progression of what's happening there is that the, the Beskar spear, I don't think Mando has his sniper rifle anymore, right? That must have blown up in the razor crest. So as far as I know, that spear is the only thing that's left. And it makes sense is that's what he's going to have to use to fight Moff Gideon with a dark saber. I don't think Moff Gideon, is trying to be Force-sensitive. Um, the, the way they're extracting blood from Grogu, Grogu and doing experiments on Force users, it seems more like they were trying to connect the sequel trilogy and perhaps that, that's how they're growing Snoke or trying to clone the Emperor or whatever, as opposed to Moff Gideon trying to like make himself a Force-sensitive being. I don't think that's what's happening, but either way, it seems like it's going to come down to a battle between Din Djarin and Moff Gideon, and Din Djarin just threw the glove down saying he's going to come get him. So hopefully next episode, they get Grogu back. I don't know if they're going to end the season on a high note or a low note, and we're going to have to be waiting a year to save Grogu. I'm really hoping they save him by the end of the next episode. I mean, sort of last season, they had captured Grogu in Chapter 7, and then in Chapter 8, they got him back, and it was, you know, you could exhale, the season is over, but at least you were in a good place. So I'm hoping this is similar. I'm hoping we don't, something horrible doesn't happen, or we don't get Grogu, Grogu back, and then we have to wait until next year in order to see what happens. That would just be torture. So I'm looking forward to next week, and I don't think there's anything that they could do that could be wrong here, because that, so far, every episode this season I've loved, I think probably... Um, if I had to rank them, episode two would probably be at the bottom just because that was pretty pretty much a side episode. And this was a fun episode, but it was definitely not one of my favorites this season. I think people probably want to hate on Bill Burr and have it seem like he just doesn't belong here. But somehow it works. His comedy is it's very like Earth-like comedy. And Bill Burr is just he's got that like Boston accent. It's kind of hard to separate the the real world Bill Burr from Star Wars Bill Burr, but he, his acting does not suck. He does a very good job here of making me believe in the character Mayfield. And that for a moment there, I wasn't like, oh, it's Bill Burr. It was just that moment when he was sitting across the table from that dick of a officer, Imperial officer. And you could tell that Mayfield was just stewing and getting angrier and angrier. And when he pulled out the gun and shot the guy in the face, like that was... A little bit unexpected, I mean, but, you know, Bill Burr, I feel like, did a really good job of making me believe all of that, so props to him for for perfectly good acting, and, you know, he's a talented guy, and I I think he deserves credit for, for making the character work, despite the fact that he's Bill Burr, and he has to overcome more of a, you know, he, it's harder for him to portray a character than perhaps one of these other actors who don't, doesn't have to pretend like they're not a comedian or whatever, but... I was impressed. So, Rick Famuyiwa, great episode, fun episode, and, I mean, we only got one episode left, but 
I have a feeling it's going to be a good one, and we're going to see some great action next week. So I'm looking forward to it. If you guys are excited, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye.